well and having a beautiful day so far. This little guy is having a good day. He's feeling rambunctious right now, so he just woke up from a nap, but he's doing so well and just adjusting nicely and just trying to make him feel comfortable and help him grow and stay healthy and i'll show you guys some activities i've been doing with him just to kind of like keep him occupied and you know give him fun things to do throughout the day because we really can't take him on like long walks and stuff yet because he's so little and doesn't have his vaccines and whatnot so we're doing that and i'll show some of that later and i have some errands to run and just some things to do around the house and i'll also make a yummy meal later so we'll do a little cooking but it's gonna be a fun day and i also want to thank squarespace for sponsoring today's video i've shared them in the past but i want to share them again because i love them so much I'll tell you a little bit more about them later but i think right now i'm just gonna make a yummy little smoothie as a little kind of pre-lunch appetizer so i can have a little snack when i go run my errands and this little guy is gonna spend some time with dad in his office upstairs so that's the plan but i'm really excited to spend the day with you all at PetSmart, our new hot spot where we're gonna spend so much time probably. I do like to order stuff online though. I actually placed a big order last night. I ordered his little name tag. Um, I ordered it from Etsy, so I'll definitely show you guys when it comes. And then I also ordered, oh goodness, oh, a Kong, like one of those classic Kong toys. It's just so good. You can stick little treats in it and it's great for teething, which Mr. Palmer is definitely teething right now. So I'm excited for that to come. And then the last thing, I, I guess it wasn't that big of an order. I ordered three things. The last thing was a brush so I can give him nice little brushes and you know, help with his shedding. He definitely hasn't been shedding that much, but it's hard to know how much he'll shed because we don't even know what breed he is. But yeah, so those are the things I found. And at PetSmart, I just have to return this little harness we got him because we, we got him two of these by accident. Well. I got him two of them by accident because when we first got him we stopped here and then Brandon went in to try to get everything but then uh, like we were just going back and forth so I was like okay let me just go in and make sure like we didn't miss anything so then I went in but he had already put the harness in the cart and then I didn't even notice and ended up buying two of them I was just kind of like frazzled and I just wanted to get him home like as soon as possible so I'm just gonna go return it now and I also want to see if they have any good collars so ones that aren't harnesses because the collar is kind of nice for other purposes like I don't know I feel like it's just good to have both so we shall see what they have and then I think I'm actually gonna stop at Hobby Lobby which I never go to Hobby Lobby but I feel like I love Hobby Lobby I've only been there a couple times and it was great but I I don't live super close to one so it's a little out of the way, but I'm kind of in the mood to check it out. Oh, and my sweet Nana, Brandon's grandma, she gave us a Hobby Lobby gift card as like a little housewarming present. So that's the real reason is because I have a gift card, but it just sounds super fun to do today. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll have ourselves a little shopping day. I'm glad I packed the smoothie because it's already almost 1 p.m. and I haven't had much of a lunch. So this is a lifesaver. <laughs> Oh my goodness, these little Easter things. I definitely need to make him an Easter basket. I have to get this, it is just too cute. Just immediately find all the dog stuff nowadays. I want those poops up there, but I don't know how to get them. Yeah, I found them on my level. They're super cute placemats. I really like them, but I already have placemats. Just got home and I'm gonna do a little haul. I found lots of goodies, so I'm excited to share them with you. But it is iced coffee time, so I'm gonna take a little iced coffee break. Palmer's just chomping on some ice. <laughs> I love to give him some crushed ice 
when I have my iced coffee. It's so good for his teething and it's just kind of like a fun little treat. Oh, but he's currently just chewing on the bowl, so <laughs> I need to keep an eye on him. But yeah, I'm gonna make some iced coffee and then get some work done and then I'll show you everything I picked up. table getting some work done updating my website I'm gonna create a page with my cleaning videos and that little cleaning graphic that I I showed a couple videos ago with my cleaning routine with just like the step-by-steps in case you guys want to screenshot it just so that it has like a place where you can always find it in case you want it um, and I'm also going to create a page on my website for Palmer. So just like a dog page of just like any kind of products that I really love, that he really loves, and just like any tips. I don't know. It'll kind of evolve as time goes on. But I also want to just thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. And that's what I actually use to update and create my personal website. And I actually created my website almost five years ago, maybe even over five years ago when I was in college and I've used it ever since. And I really feel like my website has played a big part in growing my business and my brand. And it's really just a user-friendly platform that helps you create a space where you can beautifully and visually share your thoughts and your work and your life. With Squarespace, you can display posts from your social profiles on your website and you can automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels so that your audience can share and see what you are putting out there. And I just think that's such an amazing feature and there really are just so many incredible and helpful features that Squarespace offers. It's really just such a great platform that makes it so easy to unify your brand voice and just work on your dreams. So I really feel like you guys will love Squarespace as much as I do. And if you would like to try it out for yourself, you can head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, you can go to squarespace.com slash Allison Bickerstaff to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Again, I'm confident you guys will love Squarespace as much as I do, and I'm so thankful they're sponsoring today's video. So I'm just going to wrap up a few more computer things and then I'll show you the haul. And then I also have just some home things I wanna do. I need to take some measurements for our carpenter cause he's gonna be doing some wood detail to my office that I'm really excited about. I'll show you an inspo picture of what I'm going for. And then we also got some blinds in yesterday, which I need to just call someone to install like most of our window treatments, but I did order some kind of bamboo shades for my office as well and we installed one in my laundry in our laundry room which I'll talk about more later when I'm installing these blinds I just got in. It was kind of like a whole ordeal just like pretty much every project we do around the house. But yeah, that's the plan for the rest of the day and then the day is really flying by. It's already 3.30, so in a couple hours, I'm gonna be cooking dinner, a delicious vegetarian curry. So that'll be really yummy, hopefully. I've never made it before. I made a different recipe, but not this recipe, but I have high expectations. I took my little space buns out because it was kind of pulling on my head. So it just feels good to let my hair down, my little short hair. My little man is sleeping in his crate, being a little angel boy. But I wanted to show you guys this list I put together, which I will add on to my website under the puppy tab, because I know it can be, I know firsthand, it can be kind of overwhelming with a new puppy. So if you guys have a new puppy or you plan to get one, like I just want this to be helpful for you. Um, because you know it's recommended when you first get a new puppy not to take them to the dog park or not really take them to public places because they are more at risk to catch sickness because their immune systems are so little and weak and you know they don't have all their vaccines and just prescriptions and stuff yet so you know the main place and environment we have to entertain them is our home so i just put together this list of just activities that i can do with him throughout the day just 
and kind of squeeze them in between his naps and whatnot. So the first one is a food puzzle, which I'll show you the one he has. My mom actually got it for him. She stopped by like a couple days after we got him and spoiled him with treats and toys. But this is the puzzle and they have lots of different versions. I think she got this at TJ Maxx, but basically you just put their treats in it and you can cover them up and they use their paws and their nose. Oops, he missed some in there, <laughs> you see? And instead of treats, I just use his food. And that's another big tip is when you get a puppy, when you're training them, mix like a few little treats with their kibble so that you're not just giving them like hundreds of treats a day. You can kind of make it a little healthier for them. So that little puzzle game is amazing. I'll try to link like similar ones below. And then another idea is food under the towel game, which basically you just put some of their food under a towel and then they can dig for it and sniff it out and try to find it. It's just another great way for them to kind of use their brain and their senses to, it's like their natural instinct too, because like in the wild, they would be searching for food that way. So there's an idea and then car rides. I want to try to always take him on car rides at least like every other day as he's growing just so that he gets used to the car and never is really afraid of it or anxious when we go on car rides. And then the next one is ride in my bike basket <laughs> to get fresh air and kind of just ride around the neighborhood and see all the sights and just kind of, I just want to do that selfishly because it's so cute and fun. And I think it'll be really fun for him as well. Um, and I will only be able to fit him in my bike basket for probably a few weeks and then he'll be too big. So there's an idea and then practice tricks, of course. So we already done sit and down, but I want to try to do shake soon. And I don't know what other ones we'll work on next. And then munch on crushed ice, which you guys already saw. And then peanut butter in one of those Kong toys, which is just like a classic dog toy. But that's another great like little food game for them. And then the last one is just sit on the porch. Or if you don't have a porch, you could sit on your balcony or in front of a window and just watch the birds and neighbors just to kind of let them see the outside world. So those are some ideas. But let me show you everything I picked up today. So again, I went to PetSmart and Hobby Lobby. I actually also stopped into Forever 21. And I picked up a couple things. So the first one is this seamless cami and i love these this one is such like a soft material and i love the color as well i kind of have one on similar but this one's from anthropology and it was a lot more expensive but it's like the same material so i thought this was like a great basic and then the next thing is this sweatshirt it's like a nice floral sweatshirt and i sized up and got a large just so it could be kind of slouchy and oversized but these are just so comfy to wear around the house and i'm so excited i'm actually doing a closet clean out and refresh tomorrow so That'll be so nice. And basically I haven't really organized my closet since we moved in. I just kind of like threw everything in there and just hung it up as best as I could. So I'm really excited to like make a section of just my loungewear and stuff like this that I just wear around the house because it's basically what I do every day. Um, but yeah, I just thought this was super cute and comfy. And then Hobby Lobby. Oh my goodness, I have so many thoughts about Hobby Lobby. I think it is so fun. But I, when I first got in, I was really overwhelmed because it's kind of, it's different, you know? It's different how they organize it. And something that's not my favorite is how basically <laughs> everything is, like, I felt like everything had a sale on it, but it was confusing because they have like the actual price and then they have, oh, 50% off this category, 30% off this category, but it was hard to know like what category I don't know, maybe I'm just a newbie, so it was trickier for me, but I found lots of goodies. Let me get my receipt. Okay, first thing I got, I'm a little unsure about it. I, I think I, I think it'll look cute, but it's definitely a lot more of a farmhouse vibe. But I got this bread box and I'm gonna put it in the pantry because I'm also gonna be doing like a pantry organization and makeover video soon. And we don't have a bread box at all. And this is honestly so helpful because where we keep our bread right now is just like in a basket with all of our chips and stuff. I'll show you. 
it's just right in here and it's always so hard to see where the bread is and we actually keep our bread in the freezer for most of the time and then we'll just thaw out a little bit at a time so that it doesn't mold and get yucky um so i think this will be super helpful so we can actually find our bread really easy but again it is like more of a rustic vibe but it's going in the pantry so i think it'll be really cute and kind of be a fun statement when I have it all organized so I think I'm gonna keep it but I'll keep the tag on it for now in case I change my mind and then the next thing I got these two candle holders which I've just been wanting to get some kind of candle holder um, with these long candles the taper candles which I also picked up as well and I really want these for uh, shelf styling i have that cute little arched rattan shelf that i thrifted from a local thrift shop right over here right there and so i'm still working on styling that and so i might use those candle holders there we'll see if they even work they might be too tall for that shelf so if they are i might return them or might keep them for when we get our media console there I really don't know, but I thought they were pretty neat. They had a lot of other different designs that I liked, so it was kind of hard to pick which ones I liked the most. But again, we'll play around with it, but keep the tag on in case I want to return it. And then I also got these wood beads with the little tassels, which these are just so classic, like for styling shelves. These are just like so trendy and in right now. So I thought these were really fun. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys the prices. Okay. What is this? How much camera is cut me off because my memory card was full, but we're back. So I was saying the tag says $19.99, but it was 50% off and it was $9.99. So great price for these little guys. And then I also, wait, let me show you the other prices. Okay, so these were $5.99 on the tag and then they were $5.99 in real life. <laughs> and then, okay, these candle things. These were, one was $7.99 and one was $5.99 and those were also 50% off. So that was the 50% off price though. And then the bread box was $22.49 and originally like on the tag, it says $44.99. So 45 bucks for this, I don't know about that. So it's interesting, like this seems kind of pricey for that, um, but it was on sale. So it like wasn't, it was a good price. I don't know, it's confusing. Okay, and then we got this book, which I love the cover. Oh, someone's sneaking down the stairs. Hi, don't be shy. It's Palmer's dad. <laughs> I'm being so annoying with saying Palmer's. I keep calling him Palmer's dad and I'm Palmer's mom. It's just so fun. <laughs> we're parents, we're different. <laughs> But yeah, I picked up this book, which I had never even heard of before, but it kind of just jumped out to me. And I love to have kind of these faith-based books to accompany me in my quiet time, like after my devotions. And I'm almost finished with Garden City. So I wanted to pick this up and it's really beautiful too. It's a really pretty cover. So that's exciting. And that was $11.99. And then my favorite decor piece that I picked up from Hobby Lobby you can go ahead and fill up your water. <laughs> He's waiting to fill up his water because he knows I'm filming. <laughs> but anyways, my last thing that I'm so excited about, I picked up four of these seagrass cups and they are so beautiful. I've been wanting these for so long and I was so excited when I found them and they were $9.99 each. So let me see. Yeah, $9.99 each, which is a great price and they're so beautiful. And I definitely wanna keep these styled on our floating shelves in our kitchen that are still not up, which we've just had them in the box waiting to you know, put them up for a while. We just haven't gotten to it yet. So hopefully we'll do that this weekend, but who knows, but this will look really cute on there. And these are just really fun for spring and summer. And then the last few things I picked up from PetSmart when I re returned his little harness, his duplicate harness. So I picked up this happy Easter toy because I just couldn't resist. It's so adorable. And I'll make him like a little Easter basket. And then, oh, we're a little tangled. And then I also picked up this really pretty leash. I thought it was beautiful. And with this kind of gold hook and little loop, it's so, so pretty. And I got a matching collar. So I think he will look so handsome in that and it'll look really 
super cute with his pet ID I also ordered from Etsy. Look who's up. I changed into my little sweatshirt I just showed you. I actually think I like it better tucked out, so not tucked in, but here it is tucked in, but it's exactly what I was hoping for because it's so nice to kind of wear with a little bralette and it's so slouchy and just super comfy and cozy. So very happy with this purchase. Let's try out your new leash, your new leash and collar, Bubba. I'm gonna take the tag off, but we'll wait. You know, this harness is kind of tricky to get off of his head. Good boy, that's so good. Here's your new collar. Let's see if you like it. It's not a chew toy, sorry. Much to your dismay. I gotta tighten it, but. Hey, hey, hey. You wanna take yourself on a walk? <laughs> oh, well, I hope we like it because we just broke the tag. Cute. Show everybody. Palmer, come on. this bamboo shade Brandon actually installed the hardware at the top a little while ago a few weeks ago actually and I just had to screw in the little washer and screw um, to actually hold the bamboo shade but it was like a whole ordeal because when I first ordered those shades for my office I was a little ding dong and I ordered the wrong length so they weren't long enough but thankfully it was not a huge deal because uh, our windows upstairs are a little bit shorter so i was able to use the one that i ordered for my office in the laundry room and then because i ordered two because i have two windows so we'll install the second one this weekend um but i ordered two of the shorter ones so we put one of the shorter ones in my office and then we're going to put the other one in the guest bedroom but yeah it was just <laughs> another thing that I goofed up on with house projects but it happens I'm learning and I'm so glad that this one looks good also I wanted to show you the picture of I still need to take the measurements but I kind of want to just get started on dinner right now uh, maybe I'll just get the measurements done to kind of cross that off Precious in my whole life. Oh, he wants mama. Hi, sweetie. Oh, that's so sweet, baby. <laughs> Daddy's the hardcore trainer. Mama's a little softy.
the finished product. I've been sampling a few bites and it is truly so, so delicious. This might become one of my staple meals and just our meal rotations. So I will definitely link the recipe in the description. So delicious and kind of nutritious, lots of veggies. Brandon's just munching on some hummus now, but we are going to end the vlog here and just have a relaxing night and I'm gonna start editing it so I can get it up for you all super soon. But we love you and cannot wait to see you next.